Now this video, we're changing gears a little bit. We're gonna be talking about something that a lot of people do, planning out surgeries after their deductibles and their out-of-pockets are met, but they're not doing completely properly. But first, our disclaimer. Mike Matthews, physical therapist here with the PT411. Thanks so much for joining me. If you already haven't done so, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Also make sure you check out thept411.com. So I know health insurance talk, maybe you'll get something out of this video. Maybe you're just gonna play it in the background if you have insomnia to help you fall asleep. Most people's health insurance plans are based on calendar years. Some are based on academic years. Once we hit the beginning of the school year or in January, our insurance policies get reset and they're updated. This means that we start back at zero for our deductibles and our out-of-pocket maxes. So at the start of the year, we are responsible cost-wise with health and medical visits. Over the year, we chop away at this, and once we meet that deductible, the patient responsibility lessens quite a bit. After the out-of-pocket max is reached, most but not all healthcare costs are strictly insurance responsibility, so we end up paying close to nothing after that. Sometimes we have looming surgeries following closely behind Behind us, so we try to put them off because of costs. Once the financial burden is lessened, patients then jump on board, get the surgeries done. But most people wait until the end of the year to do this, and once we've met these milestones with these insurance payments. Now the question is, why is a PT talking about this? Well, with lots of surgeries these days, especially orthopedic surgeries, some therapy will be needed afterwards. And some of these surgeries, PT can last for quite a while. Joint replacements, if all things go well, can last for two to three months sometimes even longer. Other surgeries may require even more PT. So the medical costs don't stop after the surgery. Someone getting a knee replacement the last week of the year, they will have a greater financial responsibility the following week when PT kicks off. Now they're paying for several months of PT at a few times a week. If someone is looking at surgery but is waiting to get it done until after deductibles and out-of-pockets are met, it's best not to wait too long. Another problem of waiting is a lot of people do this. This is the busiest time of year for surgeons. Sometimes people wait too long, and even with the surgeries in the OR two, three, or even four times as often during this time, some people will still not get in. They'll miss the boat, and they see that policy reset. Now, my advice is if anyone has these parts of their insurance policy fulfilled, get it done sooner than later. We're in September. This is probably the best time of year to get the process rolling if we have these met. Definitely make sure to check your own policy though. They can vary from different company to company and the individual policies within them can vary as well. Some people may have flat copays without deductibles or higher or lower ones for that matter. The out-of-pocket can vary quite a bit as well. So for some policies, strategic timing and planning may be well unnecessary. So know that intervention and costs don't just stop after surgery and plan out accordingly. I'm again, I'm Dr. Mike Matthews, physical therapist here with the PT411. Thanks for joining me.